eighth district which includes parts of albany rensselaer green and columbia counties he was elected in two thousand and ten and his election his focus has been on putting new yorkers back to work reducing spending and since new yorkers already pay some of the highest taxes in the nation steve supports fundamentally changing the way the state spends taxpayer money including mandate reform join me in welcoming steve, assemblyman steve mclaughlin Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. I think uh, if we put a windmill up here, we could power the Capitol with all its uh, energy needs. But uh, pleasure to be here today. I'm dressed pretty casually because I started my day today at two baseball fields, one in East Greenbush and one in Post and Kill, opening day. Nothing more American than uh, baseball and nothing better than opening day. You see those faces ready to go, uh, ready to play some baseball. There's nothing more American than that. And I think there's nothing more un-American than unfunded mandates. And I'll tell you why. That's what dictators do. They dictate from on, how, on high how people are going to live. That's what this building's been doing for decades. This is a problem that started as far back as the 1960s. And I will tell you that I believe it's a very cowardly way to govern a state. From on high, from this building, the legislature and the governor dictates how the municipalities are going to spend their money. They say, you will do this. And when they say, how are we going to pay for it? They throw their hands up and say, that's up to you. Well, the only alternative that they've had is to raise your property taxes. That's why we have the highest property taxes in the nation. That's why people like Kathy Marchione, Patty Southworth struggle to keep their counties running because we put the handcuffs on them with a tax cap. Now, I believe the tax cap was the right thing to do, but I also believe it needed to go hand in hand with mandate relief. And I sponsored legislation to do just that two years ago uh, when I first got to Albany. And I was told, no, 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 tax cap first and then mandate relief. Well, here we are close to two years later and virtually nothing's been done. Just a pittance of what we need to do. The governor, when he first came into office, had a 32-member task force commission. For one year, they met, sporadically, but they met, and they came up with, at the end of the year, somewhere between Christmas and New Year's, where nobody's paying attention, they released their report. And there's virtually nothing in it. It sure as heck hasn't affected your lives one bit, because there was only a pittance of tax uh, mandate relief in there. So they release it. The people that were on the commission didn't even know that the report was going to be released. Now, I can tell you this building and this building don't do anything without a press release unless they're not proud of it. So they released this report. The members of the commission didn't even know it was on it. Nothing got done. Then in the state of the state, we've now cut that 32-member task force down to an 11-member. Uh, that commission became a task force, so 32 members to 11. So maybe next year we'll have a squad of four or five, and then maybe uh, a czar the year after that, and then we'll get something done. The way this building is, I can tell you, being a fairly new guy here, what this building responds to is noise. You have got to make your voices heard. This is a groundswell that is going to continue to grow and grow because unfunded mandates are choking the life out of the greatest state in the country. And it needs to stop now. And you people are the ones that are going to get it done, along with folks like us that understand the problem and are willing to step up and fight for it on the floor. During the budget negotiations, we sponsored amendments that would have made put a moratorium on unfunded mandates. A moratorium, stop them in their tracks for at least two years so we can get our arms around it and study it. No more un unfunded mandates. And the majority said no. So it tells you who cares about it and who doesn't. The majority said no. But I'm here, to, it's not a, a partisan thing. It's Republicans have spent too much money. Democrats have spent too much money. We've all passed on to the counties and the schools how we're going to do things. It's wrong and it's got to stop. And previous speakers have spoken about Wicks and Taylor and Triborough and all those big unfunded mandates. But it's small mandates too. It's a mandate that says when the school bus in the garage hits a certain amount of mileage, you have to get rid of it. Well, I believe you should be able to pass that down to the superintendent or to the supervisor there in that garage. He knows who his problem buses are. He knows what, which buses are good for another 10 or 20 or 30,000 miles. And he knows which buses he can't wait to get rid of. Why are we not empowering the people who know best at the local level to do what they need to do? Why is Kathy Gimeno faced with 96 cents of every tax dollar already spoken for? And she does a phenomenal job running a county on four cents per dollar. She's very cheap with a buck, which I appreciate, Kathy, living in Rensselaer County, I have to tell you. She's very tight. I say she's tighter than two coats of paint. She has to be. We're dictating how she's going to run her county. And I'm here to tell you that there are plenty of us in the building 
Not enough yet, but there are plenty of us inside that building who get it and we understand. And I'm here to hold accountable the governor, the Senate Majority Leader, and the Assembly Leader and tell them enough is enough. It's time to change the direction of this state, to change the trajectory that's on that sign, to give these kids hope and a brighter future for the state of New York so that they, when they grow up, they're proud of the state they live in, and that state is New York. They're not moving out to somewhere else. Thank you very much. God bless. Thank you.